Hi and welcome to another Chats with the Chaplain. I'm Jess. I hope you're going well and uh, enjoying some of this beautiful weather that we've been having at the moment, which is wonderful. Um, I'm doing a little mini series at the moment on our new program, Uprise. I uh, spoke a little bit last week uh, about how to choose a coach or a therapist from the Uprise program. So if you haven't looked at that yet, feel free to jump back and check out that video. Uh, a few tips on how you can pick the right uh, coach or counsellor for you. Um, this week I wanted to chat a little bit around how to get best use out of the Uprise program. So starting first and foremost with wellbeing checks, number one. So when you first sign up to Uprise, it's one of the things that you do before you do anything else is to complete a wellbeing check. Now, this isn't a set and forget and never do one again, okay? So these wellbeing checks are a really great idea to do on a regular basis. Now, you might do this week to week or you might do it monthly or you might do this when you notice that there's a shift in how you're feeling and how you're behaving and you just want to sort of gauge a bit of an idea of your wellbeing and your stress levels. Uh, the reason we do regular wellbeing checks is really to gather a bit of a baseline for how we're feeling and it gives us indicators as to you know what's been happening in our lives to make us feel better what's working for us why do we feel less stressed why are we uh, having greater well-being levels that can help us be more aware of the things in our life that help but then also it helps us be more aware of what hinders and what creates stress and what creates lower well-being and so regularly doing a wellbeing check is a great way to start creating awareness for yourself about how you're going and how you're tracking in life in general. And it also can give you indicators as to the areas that you're struggling in, because they do change from time to time. So one, one time we might be stressed about one thing and then we're struggling with something different. Um, and the beauty of Uprise, it will give you some recommendations based on your wellbeing check as well. So. Regular wellbeing checks is one great way to use the Uprise program. Now, another way we talked about choosing a coach or a therapist last week, we know that there are therapy sessions available, but you know, the other wonderful thing about Uprise is that they have coaches as well. So coaching is a little bit more around, okay, life's going pretty well and I've got some goals or I just wanna just flourish more. I wanna learn some more things that are gonna kiss keep me on top of things and help me manage stress when it does come. So coaching is, is more about future focus, it's skills development. Um, so you can use a coach to actually help you coach, be coached through different situations. So you might be facing a difficult conversation at work um, or some conflict at work or having to have a meeting with a parent or something like that. And um, you, you can jump on and, and grab a coach to help you work through that situation and learn some skills around that. You can get coaching around different life skills as well, whether that be mindfulness, mindset, um, stress management. It might be around some habits or some goals that you have in your life that you want to achieve. Coaching is fantastic for a bit of an accountability process around keeping or well, setting and keeping goals. So coaching is one of the other options that you can use on the Uprise program. And I highly recommend trialing a coaching session. They're only 30 minutes long. And um, again, it doesn't have to be about sort of major mental health concerns when it comes to coaching. It's more about that future focused and skill development and personal development. The other way that you can use Uprise is to go through their modules. So they've got these incredible um, modules in the program, in the app that can take you through some, what they call core skills. And that might be around learning your personal values. So research actually shows if we can live our lives, firstly, understanding our personal values, and then actually live our lives aligned with those and schedule things in our life and do things in our life that match our values that increases our well-being so uprise has a program around discovering your personal values and then how to actually build a life and, and schedule things in your life that align with those values so there's stuff like that there's stuff around stress management there's stuff around mindfulness and relaxation techniques and breathing exercises uh, there's things there around how to let go of control and accept the things that we can't change. Um, so there's a lot of great, I guess, what you'd call life skills that can be learned through the program as well. So 
think about it as a proactive approach. You're really building your mental strength and fitness. You're building your capacity to handle stuff that life throws at you. You're building your capabilities of dealing with stress and tough times, but then you're also just developing yourself. So, you know, if we can develop ourselves and those skills, that's going to permeate through every aspect of life, whether it be work, whether it be home, family, personal relationships, whatever it might be. So I really encourage you to look at it as a skills development and just life development program as well. Um, so that's another great way to use it. The other um, good thing about Uprise is, like I said before, it is proactive. So think about it as dealing with the small stuff before it gets to the big stuff. We, I think, are all guilty of pressing down, pressing down, pressing down, um, or letting things become bigger than they need to be. So Uprise is a great way to actually deal with stuff while it's still manageable. So whether that might be needing to watch a module, um, taking five minutes to do a mindfulness exercise, getting a coaching session around a current stress or struggle that you're having, whatever it might be, um, it can help to deal with it now before it gets too big. Um, so it's just about dealing with the little stuff in life and sometimes yes, the bigger stuff, but dealing with the little stuff before it becomes big. So those are a few tips on how to make the best use of Uprise, regular wellbeing checks, um, use a coach um, for life development, skills development, jump in and use the modules. Again, that personal self-development and for dealing with stuff um, while it's still small and before it gets too big. So any questions you have about Uprise, feel free to reach out and I would love to hear your feedback on how it's going. And next week I will do one final little video around the Uprise series and um, just highlight a few programs and services that you might not be aware of through Uprise. So stay tuned and I'll catch you then.